Hello all, and this will be hopefully a short video. We will see. Um, for those of you who have been waiting, this is this is taking a while because I've just been busy and everything else. Um, <clears throat> but this will be the ROH Pure Title first tournament thing uh, review. Then I will probably later today put up the uh, dark review. Um, maybe, maybe did it probably like early, early, early tomorrow, I'll put up the, uh, the Dynamite review, and then at some point this weekend, uh, the, the first of the mini unboxings will start. So, <clears throat> just letting everybody know, you might get in a little bit, but that's just because my schedule is so wonky just at the moment with the use of the computer and work and lots of other things. But, let's get started. The ROH Pure Title Tournament. Um, the first week was last weekend, second, um, and I thought I was going to be able to watch it last weekend because I know that one of the stations here in Kansas City did air ROH. I guess it's not airing ROH now, so I had to wait till Monday um, to be able to watch it. But <clears throat> before that, so they're doing the ROH um, Pure Title Tournament. Um, they're going to uh, it's a tournament to recrown the ROH Pure Title. Uh, all the matches will be done under pure title rules, which are you get three rope breaks. After three rope breaks, your opponent can use uh, the ropes for whatever, and you cannot use the ropes to break anything. Um, also, you get uh, one punch, one closed fist punch. You get a warning. Second one, you get uh, disqualified. If there is any interference, the person who interfered gets fired immediately. Um, so there is that. And uh, there has to be a handshake before and after the match. So I think I will, I think that's everything, if I remember right. There's a 20 count, but there was a 20 count ROH anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So <clears throat> to to get ready for this, because I have not watched ROH in forever, literally forever. I can't even remember the last time I watched ROH. The, the fact that it's not on TV in Kansas anymore, and I did not realize it, it shows, tells you how long it's been since I watched ROH. Um, <clears throat> so, I, the, on YouTube, they did a bracketology uh, thing, and I thought, okay, I'll watch that, because that'll probably be a good way to get caught up, um, you know, on everything and, and, and all this stuff, and I will tell you that it was kind of a waste of time. It was an hour. Um, it was good for what it was, but I, I think it could have been better, and then when I watched the show, it was like, oh my god, that could have been so much better, because this show rocked. Um, if you have not watched ROH in a long, long time, and you're kind of like, well, I don't know who anybody is anymore, and I'm not sure what's going on, don't even worry about it. Um, so, they got a really nice intro, and then after the nice intro, um, we got, you know, kind of them, the announcers kind of talking about what's going on, um, and then we had these video packages. These video packages were so good. Um, first we had, this first match... We had, um, I can't even think, um, um, Lethal, Jay Lethal, and um, my brain just went out of us, and Dalton Castle, um, <clears throat> who, um, they had the first match, of course, they had wrestled before, um, the whole thing was, you know, these these two have main evented pay-per-views uh, before, and it's the first match, and that was all true, but then they did a video package, and they really, like, the the video packages were awesome. Like we had the uh, Jay Lethal video package, where it kind of talked about the fact that he had won the pure title before, lost it. Talked about him and Samoa Joe. Talked about um, all of the people that he had wrestled, who had kind of come through ROH. The fact that he'd been in ROH for so long it was really good, really well done. You kind of got why Jay Lethal wanted the pure title. Then they did Dalton Castle, and it was it was still like the character Dalton Castle, but it was a little bit more serious Dalton Castle, and it was really good. Um, it was really well done. You cut, you got why Dalton Castle, and it, like his motivations, and then uh, so it was really good, and the video packages later on with Jonathan Grisham and uh, Wheeler Yuta were also extremely good. These were just awesome. Um, some great stuff. And then we had Jay Lethal versus uh, Dalton Castle, was very good. It was a lot of, of Dalton Castle throwing Jay Lethal around, which is fine. It's the pure title. Um, it was a 
you know, it's a pure match, and they, they basically did set up that, that, you know, everyone was really serious about this, so you might see people being a little different. They even hinted that you might get, like, a serious, um, delirious on the bracket show, so there was all that, and I'm like, eh, I don't know about that, but <clears throat> it was, it was, it was, match was very, very good, um, and was, was, especially for a TV match, was, was really good. Um, can't really complain. Um, Jay Lethal went over, which was cool because they kind of hinted that because Jay Lethal was like, I'm going over. Me and uh, Jonathan Grisham are tag champions. He's my friend. He's my partner. Um, and, you know, I know I'm going to be in the finals, and I firmly believe he's going to be in the finals, and we are going to be, you know, um, the, the two in the finals. So there is that story. So it's evident that they are going to have stories and if you look at each of the guys in this if you look at Jay Lethal, Jay Lethal had a story. Um Dalton Castle had a story which was, you know, people think Dalton Castle is is this this entertainer and he's not, you know, like a wrestler and people forget that I was the ROH champion and that I can wrestle and that I'm very good and I'm dangerous and all of this. Then you had uh Jonathan Grisham who basically was like this is a, this is him proving something to himself. Um, proving how good he is, proving that all of the work he's put in, there was all of that. And he also was like, you know, him and, and, and he hinted at him and Jay Lethal as well. Um, Will Arjuta was very much the same way where he talked about, you know, this was him proving himself because he was like the younger um, Jonathan Grisham. So there were all these little stories going on as well, which is really good. That's what you need in a tournament. Um, and... You, you kind of lay that, and it, it helps so much. So there was all of that. So the video packages were awesome. Added so much to the show. Added a lot to the matches. Like I said, Jay Lethal, Dalton Castle, very good. Um, then we had Jonathan Grisham and uh, Wheeler Yuta. Um, first was your, you, the, the, bleh, can't even talk. Uh, the video package was Wheeler Yuta. So you got introduced to him, and then you got Jonathan Grisham. And I will tell you. Even though I don't follow, I haven't followed ROH. Jonathan Grisham is the example, is the exception. Here's why. So I'm a geek. I'm a big giant geek. I love geeky things, but I am very geeky when it comes to Lovecrafty and stuff, Call of Cthulhu, um, all of that nonsense. Um, <clears throat> very geeky. Very much a fan. I have. I've read so I read so much like just Cthulhu stuff. It, it, it it's really kind of sad. But um, if you ever seen Jonathan Grisham, Jonathan Grisham comes out with a mask because he's the octopus. So he's got this like skull mask with these octopus tentacles, and it's very Cthulhu like. And the first time I saw it, not even knowing, not even really remembering who Jonathan Grisham was, I was like, oh my god, that is awesome. I wish ROH sold that mask because I would buy that mask no matter how much they they. It was kind of real like Delirious. If you ever watched any of my really old videos where I would talk about Delirious, and I love the Delirious mask very much, but but even more so. Just like so, he's like my guy, even though like I knew nothing about him. I was like, yeah, that's my guy because he's got the Cthulhu mask. So there we go. But um, <clears throat> I set it up where it was very much uh, Jonathan Grisham. Um, like, like I said, really going out, proving himself. You had Wheeler Yuta, who was like, I am the young, I'm where Jonathan Grisham was, you know, 10 years ago. And they had their match, and it very much was the old guy taking on the new guy. And, and, uh, you know, there was a point where it really looked like Wheeler Yuta was going to win. Um, he didn't, um, so that just so that the Jay Lethal and Jonathan Grisham story could continue. And I'm going to guess, since this is the first episode, that's probably going to be a big, a big deal. And at some point, one of them is going to get <clears throat> um, beat. I would think it would, be John, uh, it would be Jay Lethal, but I don't know for sure. But anyways, show was awesome. This was probably the, the, the best hour of TV I can remember watching in a long time as far as pro wrestling. Um, at least since the last New Japan show I watched, which was even probably a couple months before um, they got kicked off of, of uh, Access. So, really good. If you've not seen it, I really recommend going and seeing it. 
Um, you can see it on Fight TV, which I'm sure virtually everybody that watches this video probably has access to Fight TV. And it's free on Fight TV, if you don't know. The ROH TV shows are free on Fight TV um, every Monday, right? Yeah, every Monday. And, so, and also, if you didn't know, this is the first ROH TV show in like really months that wasn't like a best of show. So, yeah, there was that, too, and this was really, really well done. I, I, I highly recommend everybody going and seeing this. This was really good. Um, I don't know where it will go from here. Um, it might fall off a cliff. We will see. But as far as the presentation, as far as the show, as far as the wrestling, everything, big thumbs up. Really good stuff. And with that, I am out. Like I said, I will probably inundate the channel with, with uh, videos, so keep that in mind, and uh, I am out.